That's right, Andrea. I'm joined right now by uh, Deputy Noble Butler from Johnson County and Mandy also from Johnson County. That is correct. Her name is Mandy. Thank you so much for being here. So um, this is a solemn job that you have today, a sacred job. Um, talk about, about that, what Mandy and you are going to do today. Well, we are representing the riderless horse, which is something that dates back to the Civil War time. Uh, the fallen officer, when they would lead him to the funeral, they would put his boots in backwards to represent the fact that he had passed away. And the stand still, girl. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, basically that is pretty much it. Uh, it's just a symbolism of a lost warrior. And it, it symbolizes the, the, the boots turned backwards symbolizes the, the warrior looking back on his troops, right, for the final time. That's correct. That's correct. And you walk with um, the, the, the hearse all the way back to the, to the area where he's being laid to rest. That is correct. Have you done this before? Yes, I have. And, and ta I, I would imagine it never gets any easier. It's always a, a, a just a solemn, sacred moment. No, it never gets any easier. We, I, I hope that I never have to do it again. But unfortunately, it's going to happen continually, and we'll be out here to do it again. I hope I never have to, but... It says so much to see all of these people, doesn't it? Um, yes. It's breathtaking. It is. It is. I, and you look over your shoulder and you see the lineup of police cars down through here. The canine officers out here with their dogs waiting. When the lights go on, you know, to represent the final time for this officer to come down through here, his last trip on earth. So, you know, the most poignant time of it all, the most poignant time of it all is when they went 1042 yeah. for the final time. Quit, little girl. Yeah. Quit. You know, that's, that's, that's the hardest part of it all, because I don't care who you are, how seasoned you are, it really plays on your heart. And do you think, Mandy, uh, does she sense when she does this what's going on, that this is uh, a solemn situation? She does. She does. Actually, this mare, I retired her last year. I brought her out for this unit today because I have some new horses I'm working up for this. And she's wonderful as far as working with children, working with people, but she knows any horse you've had somebody with you this long they're part of your life and she's part of my life and she will stay on my place and that's where she will also rest at her time you must have been touched to hear uh stories of deputy pickett and brick they had such a special bond yes. and relationship as well yes i do and i did and several of the horses and dogs i've had in the past i had the same effect with them i get along with animals better than people <laughs> Well, Deputy Butler, thank you so much for You're being here. Mandy, thank you so much and, and, and for your service today in this, uh, in this solemn task that you have in front of you. You're quite welcome. Right. So, so there we heard it. Uh, this, this tradition, this funeral tradition, uh, the riderless horse, you can see uh, the, the boots pointing backward to symbolize uh, the lost warrior uh, looking back on his troops for the final time. And um, Mandy and Deputy uh, Butler will be next to Deputy Deputy Pickett's uh, hearse as uh, it is uh, led to the Heroes of Public Safety section uh, where Deputy Pickett will be laid to rest. We'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Emily Longnecker at Crown Hill Cemetery.